So I'm uh, Xavier Manzanares. I'm uh, the lead producer on uh, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kinder Battle. Xavier, what is this game? Explain it, because I thought it was going to be a collection of mini games. No, so this game is a tactical adventure. So basically, it's a turn-based game, but a big part of the adventure as well. So it's a really accessible experience, but as well a lot of deep elements that we can uh, go for. It's centered around action, but also strategy. So it's a big uh, mix between the two. It's been a while since we see the, the rabbits make a return, and now they're on next gen. What's it like? So we wanted to come back with a bang, um, and we had a very good relationship with Nintendo. They uh, proposed that uh, potentially with Mario something could be doable as well. So we crunched a lot three, more than three years ago, actually, and uh, and we came and said, "Hey, this could be the idea." So we worked on prototypes, ideas, and uh, and since then, super hard to uh, yeah come back with a bang. Talk about the gameplay. What are you doing in this game? It's very tactical, We're kind of XCOM-y, If I could compare it to another game, if that's okay. So we have a lot of uh, influences, that, uh, but it's true that the team was a big fan, we're big fans of uh, turn-based gaming, uh, because we felt it was interesting in terms of uh, approach, but it was also interesting in terms of how we can just manage the fights and uh, the sequences between the heroes and the enemies, the battlefield ingredients and such. So we felt it was interesting just to play with this and add craziness. So we have uh, explosive covers, combos, and stuff like that. And that's the rabbit's part that we added. and. Um, we're pretty happy with this. So talk about your relationship with Nintendo. What did they provide in terms of tech and support to help make this game a reality? So we started to uh, work uh, more than three years ago by showing them the concept of a prototype. But very, very quickly, they, it was our project. So of course, they validated everything that is linked to Nintendo. So Mario characters, everything that comes from the universe. But uh, it's our game, so basically they're following the project, giving ideas, they challenge us as well. Um, so it's really mutual respect, mutual challenge as well. Uh, we try to surprise them with new ideas from the rabbits. So very, a, a good, good teamwork between the two. So talk about the process of like, you know, you have a rabbit in Princess Peach's outfit. Does that have to go through an approval process through Nintendo and talk about what the feedback and um, reception is like when you introduce them with the, something like that? Yeah, everything needs to be uh, validated, of course. If we take the example of Rabbit Peach, um, they fell in love with the concept very early on. Um, so they were fine with the concept after. So, of course, the validation at first is needed in terms of what we can do with the brand and uh, what they can do with, we can do with their characters. But then when they saw that the project was all about you know, what Mr. Miyamoto wanted as well to see, the surprising effects of the rabbits, they were fine with a lot of uh, ideas. And, uh, and they were fine with ideas we thought they would not be fine with. So that was a good part of the... So, you know, obviously Nintendo characters, will other Ubisoft characters make an appearance? Rayman, maybe? No. So... <laughs> I like how you're straightforward with it. You're like, no. <laughs> no, because really we wanted to focus first uh, with this crossover itself. But we do have surprises in the game. Okay, uh, we have Easter eggs, but also surprises, so you'll see. When does the game come out and what platforms will it be on? So the game is for the Nintendo Switch exclusively, and it's August 29th this year.